PK-52, the Saturday morning meeting. Shh. The Chicago Auto Show is open and already closed. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Normally, Chicago Auto Show around February in the middle of the winter. This year moved into the summer because of COVID-19. Did you hear anything about it? Have you seen photos uh, flying through the dealerships? Have you seen any commercials on TV? It's interesting. Is it because there's not availability, so they don't want to start a stampede to the dealership? Uh, they spent a lot of money on this auto show. I can tell you that for sure. Because it was a summer month in Chicago, this opened up the avenue to have out, outdoor test drives. So they had people outside doing test drives of all the new models. There were some vehicles that caught my attention. And the reason I really even heard that the Chicago Auto Show happened, believe it or not, and I, and I hear a lot of stuff, is because I know they're planning the New York Auto Show and it's coming up really soon. So it's Chicago, then New York. Normally New York is in April, maybe April. And so these shows come, come in the winter time in the colder climates and had to be moved because of COVID. So um, first show in over a year. I believe it was last year when I told you that the auto shows were always something that I really counted on. I didn't have the internet when I first started out. Um, I didn't have a, a, a billion dollar budget for the manufacturer advertising all the cars. We had Toyota-thon once a year, that was the big deal. But to be able to go to the auto show and have the customers come in and pay their $7 to $15 a person to get in and to be able to roam everything. One of the things I really like doing is I wanted to see what all the other manufacturers had coming. You know, I'm going to go look at Kia. I'm going to go look at Hyundai. Uh, I'm going to go look at Ford right now. I'm going to see what General Motors is doing. Um, I'm interested in Honda. It seems like to me their design's going the wrong way. But, you know, what kind of crowd are they drawing? What are they saying? So they've removed the salespeople from auto shows. So we can't go sell at the auto show anymore. And they've hired outside people. And I'll, and I'll be honest with you, um, they're talented. I mean, they wouldn't be hired if they weren't talented. But I've got somebody working for Acura in one show in X city, and then they're hired on for the rest of the year to work for Toyota. So they've got to learn their, their speech. It's a speech and they do study their product knowledge. They're very professional. I've worked with them, but I miss the days that the salespeople could interact with the cars and interact with the consumer and interact with the local market. So, um, obviously the salespeople weren't there this year. And again, um, I don't know what the attendance was. I looked for the attendance numbers. I, I, I couldn't find them. So it was very hush hush. There was some cool stuff going on at the auto show. Um, Ford has, have you heard? They got, they got a small truck coming. So the, I thought the Ranger was a small truck, but I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, the Ranger is not a giant hit. Um, it's selling in the markets where Ford is strong. So they're buying the Ranger, but they're coming out with a super small truck called the Maverick. So maybe a Ranger light. So I would have been really interested to be working the floor of the Chicago Auto Show just to see the reaction of the crowd on the new Maverick and, and what that brought. They've got the F-150 Lightning. I think if you follow the car business, you've seen this. You open the hood, it's a giant trunk. It's an all-electric Ford, it's called the Lightning. And they also introduced their hybrid F-150 at that show. So it was interesting to me. Let me flash to Toyota. In no way did I see anything about the hybrid Tundra there or the release of the Tundra at that show? So no photos and no write-ups. Again, I did not attend the show. I, I'll be, I didn't even know the show was going on. How is that possible? So they're, they're also coming out with on the Jeep side. So Jeep is, Jeep is giving away a lot of money. Um, these Jeeps are crazy. Let me tell you a story a buddy of mine told. He sold, he's working at a Jeep dealership. He sold a Jeep to a friend of his for $48,000 a little over a year, year and a half, two years ago. Just took it back in trade from him for $52,000. So sold it for $48,000, took it back in, ACV was $52,000, sold it three days later for $57,000. So the value of these Jeeps, it's kind of cultish, but they really have gone way up. But right down the road at the Outfitters, doing the lifts and doing all the accessorization, Jeep has just taken all of that money and just thrown it to the third parties. Well, now the Wrangler has just a basic lift kit, 
$7,000 upgrade package, which is going to get some of that money back from those third-party sources. And I think that was a brilliant move by Jeep. Believe it or not, the Wagoneers coming back and the Grand Wagoneers coming back. So the Ram. And I've got a picture of it right here, and it's, it's not a great picture. In fact, I like the black truck better than the red one, but the red one looks really good too. So I was very interested when Ford came out with the Raptor. Um, I thought that was a brilliant package. What they did was they, take the, they took the weight out of the front end of an off-road truck. They beefed up the suspension to an aftermarket, really high-end suspension, and the truck not only sold for a lot of money, the resale value of the Raptor has been phenomenal. So they went away from the suicide door, and they came back with a full four-door, and they've, they've really made a, a big charge in the market. So I was wondering who was really going to go after that. The, you know, the, the kit truck. The, the, I mean, if you call it the badass truck. And here comes the Ram TRX. This is one unbelievably gorgeous truck. It is gorgeous. I don't know. They've got this one in the dirt. 99% of the people buy these things won't even pull it in the front yard to wash it. But I mean, it is a, an, aggressive, an aggressive truck and it's going to do well. So I haven't heard anything. I would tell you if I had, but there is no reason why we don't have a Tundra that is just almost space alien designed. And maybe that's in the works. If I hear about it, I will tell you about it. Haven't heard about it. So interesting with the, the all new Ram. I mean, Dodge and, and Chrysler, they're an interesting car company right now. This thing is gonna be a home run. I doubt you'll be able to see one. You'll have to order it in advance. Um, kind of like when the Raptor first came out. Nissan's got the Pronto, which is a, a prototype, which will, I believe, turn into the new Z car. And they've got the uh, Raya, which is uh, an, an e-concept they featured there. So they're pushing really fast to get into the electric market. Uh, Toyota Corolla Cross. I've been talking about Corolla Cross forever. Um, not everybody can afford a sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollar vehicle. Not everybody can afford an eighty-five thousand dollar. I really don't know the price point, but you, you think I might be close? An eighty-five thousand dollar fully loaded uh, half-ton truck. Not everybody can afford that. So the the average people in the United States, they need something that's going to last forever and something with brilliant quality. I think this Corolla Cross is going to be amazing. It would be really nice to go to a Toyota dealership and see, instead of seeing empty asphalt to see a giant setting of Corolla Cross. And they're coming, gang. They're coming. Um, the G8, GR86, um, you know, I call it the to Toyo Toyota Roo. So it's the Subaru Toyota combination. Um, that car is being upgraded and they've got that feature at the auto show. It was at Chicago. It'll be at New York also. And then I guess the big push right now is the, the TRD Pro Tacoma 3.0, and then they've got the TRD Trail with some amazing upgrades on there. And then they the little teaser on the uh, Trail Edition and the Pro Edition of the 4Runner. And then, they, of course, they've got the neon green uh, Tacoma. That was the one they featured at the show. So I didn't get a chance to go to the Chicago show. I'm not going to get a chance to go to the New York show. I don't even really know what the COVID protocol is for the people from the manufacturer or the trainers that are out there to even go to the show. But uh, I will give you an upgrade, because I an, an update. I've got some people that work in the New York region that are really good friends of mine. So they're gonna be working the actual show. And so I'm gonna find out, you know, where was the traffic, where was the flow, and I'm gonna let you know. But let me finish today by saying none of that that I just said mattered. We have moved past the auto show. It's millions and millions of dollars for the manufacturer. And I'll be honest with you, there is no way it's ever going to have the same impact as it did 20 years ago. There's no way. There's no way. Anything and everything that I want. I didn't go to the auto show. I went to the internet to find this information out. I found it on the internet. It was there and available for me. So your auto show that you produce is the most important. There is enough information out on the Corolla Cross right now that you should have a series of videos explaining exactly what this vehicle is, why the concept of this vehicle was, was made, what it took the place of. I mean, actually, it made it come in the shelf of the IA, which I really don't see, but that's what Toyota was going for, is that buyer at that level right there. And then what the upgrades and everything are Tacoma and the 4Runner, what's coming out with Tundra. So your videos on the internet, that's what I want to see. I don't want to see anything at the auto show anymore. I, I don't. It's a produced show. Um, it's very generic and very antiseptic. 
The real salespeople are the ones I'm talking to right now. Create your own series of videos and name them My Auto Show or anything like that. Hashtag Auto Show directly to you. My Auto Show to you. Whatever you want to say and get those customers to find you and become the expert in the market. PK52, the Saturday morning meeting.